The Mermaid Assistant plugin is the fastest way to get going with using the Mermaid bundle on your website. You can use it along with the Divi parent theme by itself, or you can use it along with a the child theme. The reason we made it as a plugin is because it's much easier to add the functions and the CSS automatically. You don't have to worry about it. The other reason is we can bring out updates to the plugin to improve functionality and features and also to update whenever Divi brings out new updates. We can just give you a notice in the dashboard and you can update automatically the way you would expect. As an advanced user, uh, you can watch the other video where we explain in more detail how you can use it on your own child themes that you might be building yourself. So let's get started with this video on installing the Mermaid Assistant. So we want to go to plugins and then add new. Then you want to navigate to your local machine. Uh, let's just click there. You would have downloaded the file. Let's have a look. Uh, on our desktop you would have downloaded the file called unzip me mermaid bundle assistant plugin then you're going to unzip that file you'll then get the following files inside the folder we've got a master css color changer we'll go to that in a bit we've got the master the divi library import we've got the mermaid assistant plugin this is the one we're going to install now and then a sample blog features post and wordpress xml import so let's install the plugin so we click on that one, then we click install now. We wait for it to upload and once it's uploaded, we can just activate the plugin. Once the plugin is activated, the next step is simply to upload the Divi library. Um, let's go and do that. So let's click on Divi library. Let's click on import export. Then you click import and then we navigate to the file master divi library import mermaid bundle json couldn't make it a longer name <laughs> click the import button and then we wait for it to import so this might take a few moments to get started because it's quite a big file um, it also depends on the speed of your server so uh, just hang in there and wait for it to update right so it's all uploaded now we've got the 75 library items that are already there so the next step is uh, let's go and make a demo page and then we can load some of the library items i'll show you how those work uh, let's just go to a demo page here i'm just going to reload so there's a, a few different ways in which you can add items we've got page layouts normally you add those from the top here called load from library we also have add from library the names are quite similar normally when you do add from library you would add a section or a row or a module um, and so let's go further so let's go and upload load from library let's try one of those we're going to load a page layout onto the page we get some cool thumbnails which automatically shows you which page layout you're going to load so let's try a content page white you can see there's a full view on this idea and then a close-up view let's load that one so that's the first step then we can update and then we can just go and look at the page let me reload it wow how awesome is that it's amazing how fast that goes now let's see what else we can do so let's uh, let's clear this layout let's go and load another one and we'll see how that works so let's go and add individual modules or rows and sections so let's click load from library and then you can just look through these you can match them and go here's a two column left portrait blog module or a striped mask uh, or a person module for example let's click on the person module and then we can just clear that out let's click update and then we can reload there we go and it's all there all the css was automatically added all the functions is automatically added that's a nice feature of the plugin lastly what we wanted to show you was uh, to do individual modules if we want to load something like uh, buttons or the list styles you have to click on insert column choose uh, which how many columns you want and then once you've got the 
modules, you can click on a module and again add from library and now you have access to the modules. In the Mermaid Bundle there's two uh, modules, there's the list style modules and of course the button. So let's add a list style as one, let's add a button as another just to show you. Let's do this little circle button and then we can hit the update button, let's reload there we go. So those are added with the effects, etc. Now the next thing you might want to do is start making custom changes. For those you would go into the module settings itself and go through the design tab, the content tab and the advanced tab. We've made videos for every single uh, item in the Mermaid bundle and then the other thing you would need is the uh, master CSS color changer. For that, we, again, we would go to the um, zip file. I've saved it here on my desktop. Inside that folder, there's a file called master CSS color changer. Let's open that one. Um, and there we go. So now you can match the module name with the CSS and then you can go and update the colors. From there what you would do is you would paste it into the uh, custom CSS box. There's two ways to do it. There's the uh, page level custom CSS box. If I paste it in here and I click save that means it will only apply to this particular page that I'm on. If you know for a fact that you're going to use this particular style that you're making throughout the website, then what you would do is go to theme options and general and then upload it, copy and paste it into the custom CSS box. When you add it here, it will be reflected throughout the website and any page where you then use that particular module, those custom styles will show up. That's the end of this video. We look forward to see what amazing things you can build with the Mermaid Bundle. Thanks for watching.